To any indie filmmaker out there, I want you to consider crowdsourcing. Well, what does that mean? Well, we often talk about the term crowdfunding, right? I mean, in many ways, that's kind of self-explanatory. It's where you have a crowd, you know, a group of people that helps fund your movie. And that's really useful and wonderful to be able to do that. But when we make our budgets, right, often what we're also kind of considering is the cost of locations, the cost of equipment, the cost of, of uh, props, costumes, uh, whatever else, right? Well, with crowdsourcing, you essentially take that list of things that you're looking for and you try to see, you know, who has what. So that way you're not having to go out and buy those things. You know, it's essentially given to you by those people. And that can bring down your overall budget, right? So then when it does come time to crowdfunding or, you know, however else you may be getting your money, you're not having to spend as much, especially if you're working on a true like micro budget movie, then you can bring down these costs by crowdsourcing those various things instead of, you know, incorporating them into your budget and having to go out and raise that cash. And that's a very powerful thing. And, you know, more often than not, uh, people, you know, money, especially these days is, is tight for many, many people. So it could be a tough thing to raise a significant amount of money. But if people have certain items, you know, okay, that, that can actually be easier to part with um, or, you know, even just lend to you, right? Like it doesn't have to be like they're giving it to you forever, but just lending to you, you know, for the duration of the shoot. And that's a wonderful thing. So please consider that when you make your movies, because I promise when, when you're working on a shoestring budget, this truly does help. Um, you know, when you reach out within your network and also just post on social media and things like that. And, you know, you'd be surprised at what's out there, what people are willing to help you out with. So don't limit yourself. And in fact, uh, just to kind of get the creative juices flowing, one of the things I encourage you to do is write down below in the comments section with any ideas of what, what you could have crowdsourced, right? Uh, I, I've given a few examples, but I would love for us to, you know, expand upon that for our own benefits, right? Have this be like a list and, and you know, one person's c comment builds on top of another and all of a sudden, you know, one plus one equals three instead of just two, right? Like that, that that's kind of uh, how I would love this to function. So please, you know, uh, participate. Anyway, thank you so much. I appreciate you. See you next time.